These 14 steps that you are about to walk, you do not take alone. I walk with you. Though you are you, and I am I, we are truly one. Therefore, my way of the cross 2,000 years ago and your way now are one. But note this difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it by my death. Your 14 steps will be complete when you crown them by your life. The Agony in the Garden. Jesus brought his apostles, Peter, James, and John, to a garden called Gethsemane and told them to sit down and wait while he went to pray. He told them he was very sad and asked them to stay awake with him. He went forward a little and kneeled down on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup be taken away from me, but I want your will, not mine, to be done. cannot go away until I drink it all, then your will be done. Again, Jesus returned and found them sleeping. He did not wake them, but went back to pray. Then once more, he came to the apostles and said, Rise, let us go, for the hour has come. I am betrayed into the hands of sinners. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. Jesus' friend Judas became afraid and he turned his back on Jesus. Judas turned Jesus over to the Romans who wanted Jesus to be crucified. The Roman guards took Jesus to Pilate the judge and said, what shall I do with Jesus? The people yelled, let him be crucified, but he said, why, what evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, 
that a riot was breaking out instead, he took water and washed his hands, saying, I'm innocent. Look to it yourselves. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have begged Pilate to set you free. We would have yelled, let him go. He is a good man. We are so sad that people told horrible lies about you. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. If someone starts yelling at me for no reason and telling lies about me, would I be brave enough to speak up? Jesus chose to stay quiet, to trust God. He knew God that God was with him even then, for God never leaves us never. Here and now, help me to have the courage to speak up if someone is being treated unfairly. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. The soldiers led Jesus away. They put a crown of thorns on his head. They beat him up and made fun of him. Then they laid a heavy cross on his shoulder and ordered him to carry it to a place called Calvary. His whole body ached. He was so tired he could hardly walk. Would I have understood that Jesus made the choice to walk the road to Calvary, that he was doing this for us? Would I have known what to do, or would I have been lost as confused as the people who were there that day? Would we have stood at the title and the soldiers? But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. <coughs> here and now, what do I do when someone is wrongly blamed for something he or she didn't do? Jesus, teach us how to follow you.
Jesus was so weak that he could not stand the weight of the cross. He fell to the ground. Perhaps, as he lay there weak and in pain, he remembered the words of Job. I have rubbed my face in dust, and it is red with my tears. My breath grows weak, and I feel that the grave is waiting for me. But the soldiers had no compassion. Jesus chose to get up and begin to walk the road again. He did this for us, for you, and for me. He did this out of love. Sometimes it feels as if our worries, fears, and sadness may weigh us down, like the cross did in Jesus' back. We may even feel too tired to go on, but we need to remember how Jesus never gave up. When he fell, he got back up. We can too, but we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. If we had been with Jesus, we would have helped you stand again. Your strength would have given us courage to come out of the crowd, even though the guards may have gotten angry. Here and now, help me to help others when they are in need. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. Without words, Jesus knew of his mother's great love for him. He knew of her great sacrifice. He had learned so much from her about God's love. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have formed a circle around you and Mary to let you talk as long as you wanted. But we weren't there. We were only here now, remember. Here and now, help me to share God's love through what I say and what I do. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. The fifth commandment, Simon, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. The cross seemed to get heavier with every step Jesus took. The soldiers noticed Jesus was getting weaker. Suddenly a soldier came into the crowd and grabbed a farmer from Serene named Simon. The soldiers shoved Simon over to help Jesus carry the cross. Have you ever, like Simon, been forced to help someone? We must remember that we are here on earth to be a blessing to each other. We are the hands and feet of Christ, and we are here to do his work. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have taken turns carrying the cross so that you wouldn't have had to carry all the burden. But we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. Here and now, do I respond with all my heart when a when parent or teacher asks me, Ask to me to help with something that seems difficult. Jesus, teach us how to follow you.
The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. A brave and kind-hearted woman named Veronica witnessed Jesus carrying his cross. So she went to Jesus and gently wiped his face. So thanks for her kindness, Jesus left a perfect image of his face on the cloth. The name Veronica comes from the words vera icon, which are the Latin and Greek words for true image. By this, we know that God chose Veronica for this very special miracle before she was even born. Jesus. Jesus, would I have been brave enough to dash out of the crowd just to offer you a little bit of kindness? If we had been there, we would have wanted to do what Veronica did. We would have we would have wanted to wipe your face with soft, warm cloths and rafter cuts and bandages. But we weren't there. We are only here now, remember. Here and now, help me to remember what may feel like a small act of kindness to me. May feel like a big act of kind of actness to someone else. Teach us, Jesus, teach us how to follow you. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. Jesus fell again under the weight of the cross. It must have been so painful to fall again. Maybe Jesus felt like the prophet Jeremiah who cried out, I am anguished, I feel great pain, my heart is throbbing. Yet Jesus chose to do what the Father asked of him. The soldiers forced Jesus to get up and continue on his way. Would I have been able to watch you walk with slow journey? Could I have stood my own pain to see what you were going through? If we had been there, Jesus, we would have demanded that the soldiers be removed from the sh soldiers. We would have told the soldiers that can't you see he's had enough, but we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. Here and now, help me to be present for others when they need a friend. Give me the courage to listen to others' needs. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. A huge crowd was following Jesus, including some women who were crying and weeping for him. Jesus saw their tears and said to them, Don't shed tears for me. Cry instead for yourselves and your children. These women must have wondered what Jesus meant. He was the one carrying the cross, yet he was asking them to wait for themselves. They shook their heads in wonder as he was shoved forward. Would I have understood Jesus any better than the woman of who lived? They saw Jesus leading. They saw the crown of thorns. They saw how much pain he was in. It was too much to take. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have told the woman, don't you understand? It's our sins that Jesus wants us to cry over. But we weren't there. We're only here now, remember. 
Right now, I need to apologize for being like us others for selfish things I sometimes do. Jesus teaches our Father. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third and final time. Once, twice, and now for the third time, Jesus fell to the ground. He must have been extremely weak to lose his balance. It was only his faith in God that kept him going. In the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed, Let this pass from me, but yours will not be mine done, be done. Now a soldier named Lunginess forced Jesus up again and pushed him on his way. Later, as Jesus was getting crucified, Lunginess realized that what he was done was wrong. He asked Jesus to forgive him, and Jesus did. Lunginess then believed that Jesus is truly the special Son of God. If we had been there, Jesus, you would have not fallen again. We would have held you up and supported you in every way we could. We would have not let this humiliation go on, but we weren't there. We are only here now, remember. If we had been there, Jesus, when the people in the crowd made fun of you and spit on you, we would have stopped them. You were in so much pain. We would have not allowed them to be so mean to you. Here now, what do I do when someone is being bullied? Help me to stand up for anyone who is being made fun of and may need my help. Jesus, do just have a follow you. By this time, Jesus was so weak that he was unable to resist anything the soldiers did to him. They cruelly ripped off his clothing and cast lots over who would have it. For his part, he made no resistance, neither did he turn away. The Lord God came to his help so that he was untouched by their insulting behavior. Jesus stood there, stripped and humiliated, waiting to be nailed to the cross. If we had been there, Jesus, those soldiers would not have, like, they wouldn't have laid a hand on you. We would have never allowed them to touch your clothing or to humiliate you in any way. But we weren't there. We're only here now, remembering. Jesus, if we had been there, we would have prayed to God the Father to make the soldiers stop treating us so horribly. We would have asked God, how can we help? Here and now, help me to pray for people who are hurt or sick even if I do not know they're in need of my prayers. Jesus, you just have to follow you. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. The soldiers nail Jesus to the cross.
Pilate had written a notice to be put on the cross that read, Jesus the Nazarene, King of the Jews. The leaders protested that Jesus wasn't the king. People only said he was, but Pilate would not change what he had written. Two men who were criminals were tied to crosses on either side of Jesus. One of the men, who was named Dismas, asked Jesus to remember him when he came into his kingdom. Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. Would I have been able to watch you suffer on the cross? Could I have handled the pain of seeing your mother cry as you suffered? If we had been there, Jesus, we would have said to them, don't you realize who this is? He isn't a criminal. He hasn't disobeyed your laws. He's Jesus, God's own son. But we weren't there. We were only here now, remembering. Here and now, help me to trust in you, Jesus, when I don't understand why something is happening. Help me to remember that you have good reasons for why things happen the way they do. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. Jesus dies on the cross. As Jesus hung on the cross, he cried out, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. After this, he died. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have held your mother and comforted her in any way we could. We would have knelt beneath it and prayed with you. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Love. You lived your whole life on earth in pure love to show us what the kingdom of heaven truly is. Here and now, help me to do all things in love as you taught us, even when it isn't easy. Jesus, teach us how to follow you.
cost. A man named Joseph in the town of Arimathea went to Pilate and asked for permission to remove the body of Jesus from the cross. He placed Jesus in Mary's arms, and together they wrapped the body in a linen sheet. Filled with sorrow, Mary looked at the body of her son. She had loved and cared for him through his boyhood, and now, at his side, when he was a man, now his life was over. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have wanted to do what Joseph did. We would have taken your body down from the cross with dignity and love. We would have comforted Mary and stayed with her. But we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. Here and now, help me to show others that I am yours by my words and by my actions. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. Station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. Joseph of Arimathea carried Jesus' body to the grave that had never that had been carved out of rock, a grave that had never been used. After he put the body inside, he rolled a stone to cover the entrance, slowly and sadly. Mary, who had gone to the tomb with Joseph, left to Sunday. If we had been there, Jesus, perhaps we would have helped carry your body to the tomb. Your strength would have made us brave enough to do the right thing. Maybe we could have put our own pillows and blankets beneath it to cushion your wounded body. But we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. Jesus, are we there for people when times are the darkest? the most difficult? Do we remember to put others' needs before our own? Here and now, help me to put aside my own fears in order to be there for others. Jesus, teach us how to follow you.
I told you at the start, my life was not complete until I crowned it by my death. Your way is not complete unless you crown it by your life. Accept each moment as it comes to you with faith and trust that all that happens has my mark on it. A simple fiat, this is all it takes. A breathing in your heart, I will it, Lord. So seek me not in far off places. I am close at hand. Your workbench, your desk, your kitchen, these are altars where you offer love, and I am with you there. Jesus has no body on earth but yours, no hands but yours, no feet but yours. Yours are the eyes through which Jesus' compassion is to look out to the world. Yours are the feet with which Jesus is to go about doing good. Yours are the hands with which Jesus is to bless all people now. Go now, take up your cross, and with your life, complete the way. Well, boys and girls, I think I can speak for all of us, but thank you so much for a beautiful presentation of the way of the cross and how nice it is to have our living station back and in person. I think you realize how much we missed it these past couple of years. But most importantly, through your words, your actions, through your songs, you really show Jesus how much you love him and how much you thank him for all that he did for us and continues to do for us each and every day. So thank you, boys and girls. This is a beautiful way to begin Holy Week. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Lau and Mrs. Gallagher and Mrs. Hoy for all the work that they have put into this presentation. I know they've spent countless hours, and boys and girls, I know you've worked very hard. So thank you, boys and girls. I think you all deserve a round of applause.